How did SpaceX end up facing almost three quarters of a million dollars in fines? And what were the violations that led to this? What exactly does Elon Musk mean by regulatory overreach in this context? And what could this lawsuit against the FAA mean for SpaceX's future operations? These are the key questions that arise from Elon Musk's recent statement where he said that SpaceX plans to sue the Federal Aviation Administration. Musk claims the agency is engaging in regulatory overreach following its proposed fines for SpaceX over alleged violations during two 2023 launches. Now, SpaceX has found itself clashing with air safety regulators multiple times, especially as its role in space exploration becomes more prominent. The recent fines proposed by the FAA stem from two specific incidents involving SpaceX's launch operations in May and July of 2023. And in both instances, the FAA claims that SpaceX failed to comply with the licensing and safety regulations required for such missions. Agency's decision to penalize them has stirred significant controversy, particularly because of SpaceX's critical role in the commercial space industry, handling high-profile tasks such as transporting astronauts to the International Space Station and also Department of Defense contracts worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, the first incident occurred during a May 2023 mission launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. And according to the FAA, SpaceX used an unapproved launch control room and failed to conduct a required pre-launch readiness poll. Now, these actions violated specific conditions that had been established as part of the company's launch license. Now, despite being informed by the FAA two days before the launch that a license modification wouldn't be issued, SpaceX proceeded without addressing these concerns. This mission, known as the PSN Satria launch, involved the deployment of a commercial satellite. Now, the second violation took place in July of 2023 during the Echo Star XX IV Jupiter mission, another commercial satellite launch. And in this case, the FAA alleges that SpaceX used an unapproved rocket propellant farm for fueling the launch. Similar to the first incident, the company had requested a revision to its explosive site plan to include the newly constructed propellant farm, but proceeded with the launch before obtaining the necessary approval from the FAA. Now, both of these incidents were cited as clear examples of SpaceX acting outside of regulatory bounds, which led to the FAA propose a total of $633,009 in civil penalties. $350,000 for the May launch and $283,009 for the July launch. Now, the FAA's enforcement actions are grounded in its statutory responsibility to ensure that companies operating in the space industry comply with strict safety regulations. After all, they are dealing with highly explosive and dangerous materials that could affect human life. The agency emphasized that in its official response to SpaceX, where the FAA chief counsel Mark Nichols stated, safety drives everything we do at the FAA, including a legal responsibility for the safety oversight of companies with commercial space transportation licenses. He added that the uh, failure to comply with these requirements results in consequences, a direct reference to the fines now facing SpaceX. Now, from the FAA's perspective, these penalties are necessary to ensure that all space operators prioritize safety and compliance. Now, on the other hand, Musk and SpaceX have argued that the FAA's actions amount to an unjustified imposition of regulatory hurdles. And in his post on X, Musk referred to the fines as more lawfare, indicating that he sees this as an excessive legal challenge imposed by regulators. He also criticized the FAA's approach, pointing out that SpaceX has been trusted by NASA for critical message, such as transporting astronauts to the uh, ISS to and from the ISS. Now, NASA puts their faith in at SpaceX from astronaut uh, for all astronaut transport to and from the International Space Station, but somehow FAA leadership thinks they know better, Musk wrote reflecting his frustration with what he perceives as contradictory treatment from different federal agencies. 
Now, SpaceX is no stranger to regulatory scrutiny, having faced enforcement actions from the FAA before. Now, for example, back in 2022, the company was fined $175,000 for failing to submit required data ahead of a Falcon 9 launch. And although SpaceX paid that fine by October of last year, the incident highlighted the growing tension between the company and regulators. In addition to the FAA, SpaceX has also faced issues with environmental agencies. For instance, the Environmental Protection Agency and the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality found that SpaceX has violated the Clean Water Act at its Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas for not having proper permits for industrial wastewater discharges. Now, these recurring regulatory challenges raise questions about SpaceX's operational practices and its ability to navigate the complex web of rules governing space exploration and environmental protection. And while Musk's criticism focuses on the FEA's role in regulating spaceflight, it's clear that other federal agencies have also found fault with SpaceX's activities. Environmental violations, for example, led to delays in an approved environmental review for the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy rocket in August of 2023. These instances suggest that SpaceX's push to innovate in space technology may be clashing with established regulatory frameworks designed to ensure safety and environmental protection. Now, in response to these mounting regulatory pressures, SpaceX has openly criticized what it sees as a burdensome and outdated regulatory environment for space company. In a blog post, SpaceX expressed frustrations over the difficulties faced by launch companies when dealing with launch and re-entrance uh, licensing. The company argued that current regulations are not well suited to the fast-paced development and operational tempo the SpaceX has set for itself. According to SpaceX, these regulatory hurdles often result in unnecessary delays and increased costs, hindering the company's ability to achieve its goals, such as sending people to Mars or ramping up launch cadence at Starbase to hundreds of launches per year. Remember, SpaceX Starship is still a very experimental rocket that's only flown four times, and three of those times it exploded. Now, Musk's decision to pursue legal action against the FAA could mark a significant moment in the broader debate over the role of government oversight in the burgeoning commercial space industry. Now, by suing the FAA for what he terms regulatory overreach, Elon Musk is essentially challenging the authority and discretion that the agency has in managing space transportation safety. Now, if successful, the lawsuit could potentially reshape how spaceflight is regulated in the United States, especially for companies that operate on the cutting edge of technology and innovation like SpaceX. However, the FAA stance is likely to remain firm. The agency has consistently argued that the safety of both the public and the broader space ecosystem must take precedence over any individual company's desire to operate more freely. The fines imposed on SpaceX are part of a broader effort to ensure that all operators meet safety standards designed to protect human life, property, and also the environment. And given the increasing frequency of launches by private companies, the FAA has said that the importance of regulatory compliance to avoid accidents or other incidents that could undermine the progress made in space exploration is paramount. Now, the legal battle between SpaceX and the FAA uh, could also have implications for other private space companies. As one of the leading players in the industry, SpaceX's flight with the FAA may set a precedent that other companies could either benefit from or be constrained by. If SpaceX succeeds in this lawsuit, it may pave the way for more lenient regulatory treatment of private space firms. Now, on the other hand, if the FAA prevails, it could reinforce the existing regulatory structure, ensuring that safety and environmental standards remain paramount, even as the pace of space exploration accelerates. Now, in the meantime, SpaceX continues to push forward with its launch schedules. Despite the fines and ongoing disputes with regulators, the company shows no signs of slowing down. SpaceX continued success with launching commercial satellites, 
along with its key role in NASA's Artemis missions and ISS transport, shows that it's in the position as a dominant force in the aerospace industry right now. Yet the outcome of its legal challenges may ultimately shape how the company operates and also other companies operate in the years to come. Now, SpaceX has 30 days to respond to the uh, FAA's proposed civil penalties. And during this time, the company can either contest the fines or seek to negotiate a settlement. Now, given Musk's public statements, it appears likely that SpaceX will pursue litigation rather than attempt to settle the matter quietly. Sets a stage for what could be a protracted legal battle with wide-reaching consequences for both the space industry and also regulatory authorities. Now, it's also worth noting that Elon Musk has had other legal run-ins with government agencies. Aside from his clashes with the FEA and environmental regulators, Musk has also taken on the National Labor Relations Board. In a recent lawsuit, Musk argued that the NLRB structure was unconstitutional, claiming that its administrative processes violated the separation of powers principle. Now, this demonstrates Musk's willingness to use legal avenues to challenge regulatory bodies that he believes overstep their authority. And while Musk confrontations with regulators are not new, the stakes in this latest dispute with the FAA may be particularly high. The growing reliance on SpaceX for both commercial and also governmental space missions means that any disruptions to its operation could have far-reaching consequences. And at the same time, the outcome of the lawsuit could influence how other space companies navigate this regulatory landscape in the future, potentially affecting the overall pace of space exploration and development. Now, the FAA, for its part, remains committed to enforcing the rules that govern space transportation. And in a statement proposed the fines against SpaceX, the agency reiterated its commitment to safety and compliance. Failure of a company to comply with the safety requirements will result in consequences. Now, take that as you will. SpaceX will continue on its journey to build SpaceX's Starbase and continue Falcon 9 launches from the Cape. Now, I want to say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day today to spend it here with me. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button while you're down there and leave a comment. What do you think about the FAA? Tell me. Tell me what you think about the FAA because I know everybody has their own thoughts on this. Some of the FAA stuff is good. They need to regulate some things like this, I believe. Um, if SpaceX doesn't comply with them, should they get fined? It's a, you know, Let me know it down in the comments below. I appreciate your time. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.